Shalom. My name is Moray Ishaya Yisrael. From the House of Israel in Cincinnati, Ohio, 2330 Kemper Lane, bringing to you in 40 minutes or less. In 40 minutes or less, I will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt the word of Yahweh. Who is this Yahweh? Yahweh is the creator of the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein. Yahweh is the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yisrael, whom you may know as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our judge. Yahweh is our lawgiver. Yahweh is our king who will save us. Shalom and praise the mighty Yah. In this lesson, lesson number 37, we will bring to you the evening. Is the evening, according to the scriptures, the beginning of a day? Or is the evening the end of a day? Many of our people believe that the evening is the beginning of a day. And it's understandable why they will believe such a thing because evening in the book of Genesis, the first chapter, is mentioned first. So quite naturally, it seemed reasonable that the evening is first, the beginning of a day. But no, the Almighty told us to search his word. And in searching the word of Yahweh, I will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the evening is exclusively the end of a day. And of course, we will do this in 40 minutes or less. And I will give you, bring to you 10 different witnesses to prove what I'm telling you is the truth. The first witness is in the book of Exodus, the 12th chapter. Let us go there. And we're going to read the first 11 verses. And this is what it says. And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And then this is the part that I want you to see concerning the word evening. The sixth verse. And ye shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And why? Because as you're going to see, as you're going to learn, evening comes at the end of a day. That's why the Almighty said, this lamb, you keep it up all day and you kill it in the evening. And they shall take out the blood and strike it on the two side posts and the, on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it. They shall eat the flesh in that night. Roast with fire, unleavened bread, with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor side at all with water, but roast with fire. His head with his legs and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And why? Because the morning, another day begins. So Yahweh didn't want this sacrifice to be left over. And it is a sacrifice, as you will learn and see. And that which remaineth oh, remain of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. And so this 
Passover loan really is establishing that evening is the end of a day because the lamb, you kept it up all day and killed it in the evening. And just to show you, it's a sacrifice that was not to remain until the morning. In this same 27, same chapter, the 27 verse says that ye shall say it is the sacrifice of Yahweh's Passover because the Passover is a sacrifice. Number two, witness number two, and I got 10 witnesses for you. This witness is in the book of Exodus 18. Watch what it says. In Exodus 18, this is what it says in the 13th verse. And it came to pass on the morrow. And what do the word morrow mean? It means the next day. And specifically, it means the next morning that Moshe said to just the people. Because if you don't know what tomorrow is, Yahweh is going to show you. He's going to tell you. Watch what it says. And the people stood by Moses from morning until evening. Because that's what the next day is. That's what tomorrow is. From morning until evening. That's witness number two. Witness number three is in the book of Exodus, the 29th chapter. And we're dealing with when do the evening begin at the beginning of a day or the end of a day? Watch what it says in Exodus 29. And we're going to start reading at the 39th verse. This is our third witness. And we'll start at 38 so you can understand this thing. Now, this is that which thou shalt offer upon the altar. Two lambs of the first year, day by day, continually. You got to do this every day. And it's got to be two lambs. And watch what it says. 39 verse. The one lamb thou shalt offer in the morning. And the other lamb, in the Hebrew, it don't say other. In Hebrew, it says the second lamb thou shalt offer at even. And why? Because the morning comes before the evening. And the evening is the second lamb, and you had to have two lambs a day. And no matter how you add this up, it's still the morning is one and the evening is two. Witness number four. But I, I, before I go to that witness, the 41st verse says, And the other lamb thou shalt offer at even, and thou shalt do there too, according to the meal offering of the morning, according to the drink offering there, the sweet savior offer made by fire unto Yahweh. In other words, the other lamb got to be like the one lamb. That's how you know it comes second. The fourth witness is in the book of Leviticus, the sixth chapter. And what are we talking about? What are we teaching? What are we trying to let you know? When do the evening Begin or end. The evening is the end of a day, not the beginning. Watch what this says in Leviticus, the sixth chapter. Just dealing with the evening. We dealt with the morning. Now we're dealing with the evening. Leviticus, the sixth chapter, and watch what it says. And we're going to start reading at the 19th verse. And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and of his sons, which they shall offer unto Yahweh, in the day when he is anointed, a tenth part of an ephod of fine flour for a meal offering, perpetual, half of it in the morning, and half thereof at evening. And I know many of your books say night, but that word is not night in the Hebrew. That word is erev. The word for night in Hebrew is not erev. Is Laia also the seventh witness or the fifth witness? I apologize, I jumped too far. The fifth witness concerning whether the evening is the beginning of a day or the end of a day. Deuteronomy 24. Let us go there. Ten witnesses, 
And I can assure you, if you take the time and consider these things, these are laws. All these are laws. You will see that I'm telling you the truth. In the book of Deuteronomy, the 24th chapter, and watch what it says in the 14th and 15th verse. It says, Thou shalt not oppress a hired servant that is poor and needy, whether he be thy brethren or of the strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. In other words, you don't oppress nobody. And watch the 15th verse. At his day, thou shalt give him his hire. Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and set of his heart upon it. Least he cry against thee unto Yahweh, and it be sin unto thee. In other words, when we hire the poor, we can't even let the sun go completely down on not paying him. We got to give him his heart. And why? Because that's when the day ends. That's why the scripture says, at his day that shall give him his hour. And the day ends at evening. Now begins. Or oh, that wouldn't even make sense. Furthermore, the sixth witness in the book of Psalms 104. And watch what this says. In the book of Psalms 104, and we're going to read the 23rd verse. And watch what it says. Psalms 104, verse 23, it says, Man go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. The Almighty says, Six days shall you labor and do all thy work. Well, when do we want you to do it? Until evening. So when did you start it? In the morning. Because evening is when the day ends. Morning is when it begins. The seventh witness concerning whether the evening is the beginning of the day or the end of a day. And watch this. Since we're in Psalms, Psalms 113. Let us read that. In the book of Psalms 113, this is what it says. And we're going to start reading. At the very first verse, praise ye Yahweh. Praise, O ye servants of Yahweh. Praise the name of Yahweh. Bless be the name of Yahweh from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Yah's name is to be praised. We don't praise Yahweh from the end to the beginning. No, we praise him in the beginning. To the end, the sun rises in the morning, but it sets and goes down at evening. That's why Yahweh want to be praised. Day witness to prove what I'm telling you is the truth. Watch what it says in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 46. In the book of Ezekiel 46, and we're going to start reading. At the very first verse, and this is what it says. Thus says Yahweh Elohim, the gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days. But on the seventh day, it shall be open. And in the day of the new month, it shall be open. And watch how Yahweh established this. And the prince shall enter by the way the porch of that gate without. And shall stand by the post of the gate. And the priest shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offering. And he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go forth. But the gate shall not be shut until the what? The evening. And why? Because the day is coming to an end. The day is coming to a close. And when the day comes to a close, it's time to shut the doors. When the day is coming to an end in the evening, man is leaving his work and, and going home. When the sun rises, you praise it until the going down of the same. All about when something is ending. The second sacrifice of the day is at evening. 
Moses judged the people from morning to evening. The Passover sacrifice, the Passover lamb, you keep it up until evening. In that evening, you kill it. The ninth witness is in the book of Exodus 22. Exodus 22. This is the law. Talking about, well, when do evening begin? Do it begin at the beginning of a day or at the end of a day? Watch what it says. In the book of Exodus 22, and this is what it says. And we're going to read the 26th verse. And it says, if thou at all take thy neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver it unto him by that the sun goeth down. And what is that? The evening. For that is his covering only. It is his raiment for his skin, wherein he shall sleep. And it shall come to pass when he crieth unto me that I will hear, for I am gracious. Don't you see all these scriptures concerning the evening, how you bring things to an end? And the last witness, the tenth witness, is in the book of Malachi, the first chapter. Talking about the evening, is it the beginning of a day? Or is it the end of a day? Malachi, the first chapter. And we're going to read the 11th verse. Watch what it says. Malachi 1 and 11 says, For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name. A pure offering, for my name shall be great among the heathens, says Yahweh of hosts. You see this? From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, Yahweh would even allow you to burn incense all over the world where you at as a pure offering for his name. Where today, the only people that can burn incense to Yahweh is the priest. But not in the future. Everybody and everywhere, you will burn incense. At the beginning of the day, when the sun rises, and at the end of the day, when the sun sets, the evening. Praise the mighty Yah. Until our next lesson, Yahweh love you, and so do I. Shalom. Yahweh is righteous. Yahweh is holy. And let Yahweh continually be magnified.